today it could be a special broadcast for this RuneScape. Hello my babies, Jabai yeah, here, and welcome to another video of Lost Ark broadcast. Today on the topic, I'm going to talk about RuneScape. So, there's two different kinds of RuneScape. There's RuneScape 3 and also RuneScape. I'm going to split those two in this broadcast talking about them. Then, maybe so. So, let's start with the first one. RuneScape 3, the one I know the most. most. So, RuneScape 3, as you know, this is actually th the third edition of RuneScape. The account is now. Now, like 20. Is it. 23 years old? Or. No, I think. I'm pretty sure it's 27 years old. Or 28. I'm, I'm pretty sure or oh, that old, but it's actually a pretty old game and that was made by the Gala Brothers. Brothers and they saw it pretty low, uh, low in thought because before it was just the three of them, then now they're, they're, they're all like what 50 employees of Jax, which is I think, the name of the company. Uh, these people are for employees, aka the, the J mods, uh, and they really work on the kind of updates, skills, the design, and different things to keep the game alive uh, throughout the years. Years. The first component was actually in the first edition, was actually RuneScape Classic. Winter Classic was actually kind of unique and you know, it's a start of the line for RuneScape and so. In 2005, we got the Institute of RuneScape 2. Two. And that was the year I joined in to play RuneScape. In 2005, in April, I stopped playing RuneScape 8. I created my own account and worked on building up my skill. So they mainly my best friend created come from me and gave it to me in do so, but the how it works. Uh, and I still play it as today. Hey, and it's a lot of fun in do so. So the first skill that I touched was actually like the first skill I am that I actually maxed out to low ninety nine yeah, is mining. Now each skill has a XP bar of the amount of XP that you have to reach to gain a level. The max level is 99 and the max XP was 13 million, over 13 million. And you were able to upgrade to, to 200 million, you're welcome to. And so on. Many years went by and by. Yeah. And we got introduced to the new uh, the new skills skills and the the new combat uh style of of fighting. Evolution combat. As you know there's two different kinds of way of fighting. Play versus players or play versus monsters, uh, PC and PBM. Yeah. When Evolution Combat came came out, uh, a lot of things a lot of things changed. Plus, a new skill, Dungeoneering. Dungeoneering, and so that skill was the first skill that made to level one twenty. B. It's actually B. A women's skill that I never thought of that this skill was going to come a, become a low 120 skill. Indeed so. And, and then what, and then it's so on, we got more skills to, to, to unlock a low 120. See, once you hit low 120 of these skills, you get a skill cape, a 
is that it's really like a massive skill tree. Same thing, but a skill tree being a fleet is skill to level 99. Yeah, and that's the thing. Dang. Last year, the latest skill we got was Mega Missing. Before, there was only three combat um, powers range, magic, and melee. And I did the fourth one. And this one called Standalone. Um, I'm not sure how they reference, but I believe it's called like you summon these uh, familiars, which is your army of, of undead, and, and consume souls to heal yourself. So, I'm not pretty sure that how the skill actually uh, formats what you can do. Do. Because there's two different ways of main messing, which is actually the armor system and the weapon system. So, for armor system, um, you can level up the armor um, with each tier, tier, but the higher level you get, the much harder it is to actually uh, submit or to upgrade. Okay, and do so. And when you hit level 70 or 80 the, of the armor, that is where the healing comes from. Come from. Yep. And for, that, for the weapon, weapons, that's a lot of you take more damage and, and it's somehow your, your uh, conservation, the familiar, the, the living or dead. And it's kind of interesting how it kind of actually formats that setting. But yeah, there's a story to RuneScape 3 and do so. As you know, RuneScape 3 is, is actually the arc of the 6th age. age. This game was released 11 years ago. Uh, yeah, 11 years ago, actually. And it was a really Powerful way of bringing a new age to RuneScape and so and bringing the, the game to RuneScape 3, the third edition. Yeah. When, it, uh, when it got to the third edition, there was actually four, four relevant intimates in, into it. Sandoy, Zanwak, Arundel, Thor versus Bells, Cabbages versus the Monkeys, and um, I forgot this god name. He looks like, he looks like a, a wolf, half dog uh, god. But well, that was the fourth world world. And I'm pretty sure Thor oh, definitely. In that one battle, but Sandron won the first one, Ondel won the second one, um, I think the characters won the second one, the third one, and then whoever the, the, uh, won the fourth one. Uh, now, there's something original about the first world event, because when Sandron won, Zabnaga actually, yeah, Zanbak actually escaped. So Zanbak decided to come back in the latest uh, Elite Dungeon. When we get to fight Zanbak after all, the overlord of himself. Uh, which he, if you don't know, uh, Zanbak is actually a demon lord. So, yeah. And it's kind of unique how well the how it formats things. Last year, we got a new quest line called the Fort Frontier. And that was actually based on the way of building your own fort or learning the, learning the way of, about the updates from work cutting and construction. Then, and Fighting the two new boss, what he yeah, fighting the two new bosses, Zemnaga and Fokat. Yeah. And then there 
é o Rational Yet. É, é um só em the else that best how works. Earth and the twelve. Well, and I wait for the new, the new skill, the name missing. And but we, but we actually got two new boxes from that skill, and that was her mind and fractal, or oh, and. They're pretty good bosses, but you can use the flash before you actually train them yourself. Oh. Now, we went through the years when I was playing the game. Then, when I got my first skill, the skill of level 99, mining, I decided to work on another skill for level 99, and that was fire making. Now, fire making is actually kind of easy to level up, and very fast to obtain. In this and the so oh, I think I did other skills too, which was uh smithing thing and crafting thing. If you remember last year I did a I did a quest series called Law Questers. This is where I uncover the law against a skill I want to use for 99. That was actually room crafting thing. And to get that to skill to 99, you have to defeat a lot of quests, especially complete the full story of the desert quests. And was it worth it? It, it was actually because I got I got the chance to. Think to actually do two skill guys separate, one about the abyss and the second one was about rune span and in the cell. And each one was actually kind of good. And yeah. Another thing about RuneScape, it has many more stories to the game. And that's the thing. And we saw there are a whole bunch of bosses in this game too. Two, if you remember Apocalypse series, I did my end goal of fighting the Cobra Beast. These the boss is actually kind of easy to take on if you know how to uh, fight her in the cell. Oh, and that's the thing. Definitely. Okay, and. And I never thought I could actually fight the Queen Fire Dragon at all. But that would actually surprise me a lot. A lot. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. As you know, that was my first time fighting the Queen Fire Dragon. And, and getting killed from her. Yeah, what can I say? Okay. Uh, another thing about RuneScape 3 is they're working on something new, and that is the combat system. So when Nick and Listen came out, they decreased the three combat powers, range, range magic, and melee, okay, so they can update it and make it uh, equal to Mega, to Mega Man Sin. So, range attack, yeah, range, melee, and magic is gonna be quite equal with Mega Man Sin. Thing. That's coming soon this year. Yeah, I, I, I believe they're doing a live stream. They just don't have a, a live stream for the combat style, the combat update of the data in time being and I have I have been able to pick out the beta for myself but actually but I say a lot of people have had it already and it's pretty good in these so no uh, so yeah can't wait for that but that's all I have to say about RuneScape 3 so let's move on to old school RuneScape RuneScape Alright, old school RuneScape, I don't know that much about it. 
One thing I do know about it is this was a era of uh, when I graduated high, after I graduated high school. So I was a alert that when the old school wouldn't get the way it got from out. Now, um, I was like about it. Alright, but when you play old school Runescape uh, as a fresh account, you start from the bottom, you don't start from um, the top. Now, that's actually very cool, and this uh, is actually like a new game to, to, to yourself. Old school Runescape. Okay, over the years, the art can be so. It's gone pretty well. So, this game is now uh, 11 years old. Yeah, this game is actually 11 years old. This last year it was 10 years old, as can be so. But, uh, when it was intimate to what, what can happen, it was actually glorious. Yes. RuneScape, old school RuneScape is a era of, of 2007 um, RuneScape in these cells. Uh, and then they're, they're working on a new quest, which actually is Wild Got to Sleep. Wild Got to Sleep is actually a quest that was implemented in 2008. And that was the year when all the graphics had turned to HD, D and D cell. And I'm pretty sure that what they're gonna do with old school RuneScape. They're going to implement all the graphics to HD and put the new quest while got to sleep. This is the starting area of the gods, but what's this actually sleeping thing and the gods are resting or say fighting thing. Uh the time being in these cells. This is like the first grand master quest, I gotta say. That was that was, was actually true. True. And now it's coming to all school runescape this year. In the summer, I believe so. So another big update is actually Benheim. Benheim is actually a way of it's like a Nork way of Vikings and and fighting. So this Vedheim expansion then based on the great great um, yeah. You know what I mean, right? Okay? This new giant island is gonna be quite amazing. Now I'm am going to check it out when I get into May. In which are the new area of the Great Grind, and so then, as you know, the Great Grind had actually changed. They removed the flavors, um, the percentage of the Great Grind. You can actually don't need them anymore to do a quest. Be so, uh, let's do a this quest. And I put, and I think the quest actually is related too. So that's why they move the, the flavors. So, now that that's kind of cool in the cell, I'm I'm kind of that. That's now I'm pretty sure certain areas areas that was acquired by flavors yes, by certain buildings buildings are are now locked. By skill levels, levels. So now that's actually uh, for, uh, vulnerable in these cells. How about that? Yeah. And with this, this new expansion pack, uh, new expansion area, they have a a hunting guild. Yeah, hunting guild in these cells. And I gotta say it's pretty cool. Yeah. Cause I'm cause I'm being guilt in 
in which case we is the island, the fossil island thing, which is arsenium. That's a that's a hunting guild. Ship where you fight the dinosaurs, the big and big big green hunter, uh steel boxes. So yeah. So old school rune they do do have steel boxes. So if they have the box. Which is blue right now. Winter Todd, Candice, Vince, and the third one, the one that I don't, I don't even know. Uh, order of Warden. Several, they are, are I, I only know the two. Two, that involves fire making and fishing. Okay, so yeah. I don't play or see me see that much. Uh, so that why I I don't know the game I'm watching these guys. Oh, uh, yeah. They just released, like, the latest class they just released was actually Desert Treasure 2. This actually is this, the starting area of the Desert Treasure 1 quest, actually. It, it's like the final quest before the War of 3 quest line comes out in December. Uh, and then we did get a new, another quest as before we enter the, the new expansion area in Great Wind, uh, Benheim, and I guess say it's playing, playing in Saint so but I can't, can't wait for that. Uh, I gotta say, it turns out much, much, but I'm going to check it out. In May. Yeah. What can, what can you say? Hey, uh, another thing about old school RuneScape is it's, it's a lot different than what we got in 2007. And I like, guess we did get the God of Dozen 1 bosses and the uh, the Grand Sage that came in old school RuneScape, the four new bosses, the God Wars, Wars and then the fifth, and then the fifth one came out uh, later down the line. Uh, and we did get the Grand Sage to to do so. Yeah. Now, to wrap a years, years back, they released the Great Wind. And why did they? And, and then when they released the Great Twin, they did a league for the, for the Great Twin, and then they did a second league for uh, Gernold, and then they did a third league for Gernold and the Great Twin. And then and, and then the fourth league was actually. Uh, a reloaded of everything once again, once again in League Two. So yeah, do so. Another thing about Okunuji is actually the uh, raids. I think right now there are, there are three raids: Ace, one in Great Wind, another one in the Desert. And the third one is in um, it's the undead of the vampires area. Mortinium, that's the one. Um, but yeah, they are all unique in that sort of thing. And each way is actually kind of unique. So like Shingo, Zeras, the uh, I don't know really another by heart. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the other two names. I mean, I, don't, I know where they are. So the third one's in the, it's in the desert, and the and, uh, and the second one's in Montana. Shingo Zero is actually the the one that I know by heart because it's in Great Wind, and that's where I actually uh, post my videos. The the old school RuneScape. Hey. Uh, I don't want to talk more about it because I, I haven't played it really that much, much, but it 
had go a lot throughout the, over the years, years, and it had been a doctor way of it. But I'm not sure what the, what the real story behind OCE it actually is, because I don't, like I said, I haven't played it that much at all. But, but I'm pretty sure it's the way of of Runic Classic and Runic Two. And then when we get to Runic, and then when we get to 2000, yeah, Runic 2013 or 2012, it's uh, one ball to what to what you can actually know based on the story. Really. And that was the I don't know, it's a pretty interesting movie. So let's say it's based on the gods, Oz and. Uh, Dragoon. Yeah. So yeah. Talking thing though. Uh is when this new new quest comes out out Drash is actually is going to sleep eat while the other guy, gods are uh fighting against each other. And I gotta say that's actually pretty much it in the so I don't mind feeling way about it, but I'm just gonna go about the feeling for us actually. The um uh, let me go back to let me go back to Rune Cake three. Please like everything else to talk about so Rune Rune Cake. So maybe I do. Okay, I may have one thing for all the Olympic. Okay, and that is uh, the leaves. There you go, the leaves. So the first leaf was actually based on the system of the Great Wind. But I didn't play that. I didn't play the first leaf, but I did play the the rest of the, of the leaves. So let's talk about the second one. Okay, so lead to Trailblazer. That lead was actually kind of interesting. Okay. So if you, as you know, you start in Lumbridge, and you unlock uh, the the, jun the jun jungle area, and you have to do the, you have to do certain passes to unlock certain areas. Uh, when I did Trailblazer Leaks 2, two I, I unlocked Lumbridge, which is missing as yes, the jungle area, and uh, Asgard, which is actually Fadal. So, and I saw it there. Yeah, I didn't want to go any further. So, in Leaks 3, the I. I want to go a little further, further but I didn't want to go too further, further because I did more, I was focusing more on the skills, like more unlocking the skills, skills and everything. The more skills you unlock, the more questions you finish organically. Reading these so. up. So, for these four, or every, every same thing, but I didn't, instead of locking Asgard, I unlocked the Great Wind uh, in these so I didn't want to do it, and I didn't want to go any further with it, because it was kind of boring to me, but yeah. Least, least War, Great Blaze Reloaded, was um, not the best for me. Because it's the same thing at least of uh, Least 2, so yeah, there you have it. Alright, I think it's actually kind of it for the time being. So I'm gonna go into the video here. Thank you so much for watching. And I think the next one is pretty good based on 2D and 3D design. So I'm gonna leave the video here. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Join Cheese Ravens. Do follow me on my social media accounts. And I'll see you next time for another broadcast. Bye.